Good morning, traders. This is the Silver Bullet May 9th review where we look at the price action of the day to determine where the best setups were in hopes of, again, training our eyes to see this in real time. So you can see I have the uh, 959 vertical line here and the 1101 vertical line here. So the price action in between these is what we'll be looking at. But zooming out just a little bit, what we saw happening just before 10 o'clock is we had this 8.30 um, swing level, and then we have this New York open swing level. So these are definitely two areas of interest. And I'm going to, just for the sake of today's price action, just keep it on a one minute chart. But we got clearly from those times, because those are critical times in the ICT uh, methodology that just these levels alone we can start to frame uh, some some trading price action so first thing i want to note is that at 10 o'clock what we did is we took out this high we came up to the the 40-day high i have listed here is um, the high of two months ago so price came up to that and then started to fall and if you look inside here there's a fair value gap right here So that's the very first opportunity that was presented. That was at 10.03. I did not take this trade. Um, somebody in my Discord group did though. So sorry about that. Uh, somebody saw this uh, in real time in my Discord group. They took this trade. And if you got in, let me turn the magnet off. If you got in inside this. It delivered as much as six and a quarter points, so five points were definitely there. Um, and if you look to the left, where price stalled, it came down, and what did it do? It came into this previous fair value gap. So even though our draw on liquidity was down here, and let me change that coloring, even though our draw draw on liquidity was all the way down here, it it stalled and paused right inside this very obvious fair value gap. And even if you didn't see it right away, once this candle hit and then this one rejected, and then you had these um, these bearish candles that were small that were clearly consolidating, if you would have had this drawn in your chart, you may have seen this in real time and then went, ah, wait a minute, this is a fair value gap and price seems to be reacting to it. So you could have gotten in on this fair value gap before 10 o'clock and if you did obviously you would have gotten your five points so opportunity one opportunity two and even if this if this because you're looking specifically for a fair value gap entry inside the time frame of 10 to 11 if you're just really sticking hard to that what we see here is there was a fair value gap right there right here and if you would have entered in long here five point stop loss is way down here. You don't get stopped out and yet you get your five points. So one, two, three opportunities um, that were pretty clear right there to go to go long. Now, I will say this um, to make sure I'm not overly uh, cherry picking these. Is this, as price is coming up, since price stalled to come down here, you may have been thinking, well, the draw on liquidity is up here. It's going to it's gonna run all the way to the top. So you may have been looking for other fair value gap entries. So here's a little one right here. <clears throat> if you got in on this one, five point stop loss down here, you don't get stopped out. You do not hit the five points there. You just get it at 11.20 and you may not have gotten it actually because it's like it's to the tick so depending on where you actually got in on this is kind of hit and miss so but here's the other point in this is this system is not intended for you to take every single trade that presents itself it's the idea is ICT teaches it gives you an opportunity to take five points out of the market and once you do he 
especially if you subscribe to his ends series, he wants you out of the market um, for that time frame. Sit on your hands. You got your five. Let it be, and then wait for the next session, like the PM session. So, let's take a look at the PM session. Okay, now looking at the PM session here, which is the two to three PM time frame. What we saw is that now price finally came, took out the the uh, the highs that were made in the AM session. We went above the that two month ago high, forty day high. So look. So the key thing that ICT talks about is price does, does three things. It looks for liquidity, imbalances, or it goes sideways. So if, it, if it's taken liquidity, then we should be looking for it to go in the opposite direction to a other area of liquidity. So what I suggest to you is once you saw this break, you should only be looking for shorts because we took out we already took out the liquidity up here so we should be seeking we took out buy side liquidity we should be looking for sell side liquidity and in this particular scenario even just staying on this one minute chart which i generally don't like one minute charts but recognizing we didn't have any news for the previous two days so the price action it was tight there wasn't a lot of range so um, you you have to you do have to look at things um, more fractally and in the smaller time frames. So if this is the time that we're coming into price and we notice we've taken out sell side liquidity, looking down we have this area that's pretty clean. So this is an area of interest for price to gravitate back down towards. So this should be our draw on liquidity. Um, I just. And again, I did not trade the PM session. I was busy. But so here's what we have. We have price coming up and now it's coming down and it gives us our first fair value gap right here. You got in at this fair value gap. Five point stop loss is way up here. You're safe. And clearly it takes forever. It takes almost till the very end um, of the PM session for it to finally give you those five points. But so there's this fair value gap. There's another one right here that's still within this range. So there's there's another one right there. Now you also have these equal highs. So that may have sketched some people out for sure, thinking that, oh, wait a minute, it could go higher. Um, but once again, some of this I think is is made so that you can actually make it simple. Meaning if one area of liquidity has been taken and price starts to, um, and it, you should be looking for the opportunity simply for the next op to go uh, for the next area the pool of liquidity. So that would mean we're only interested if, if buy side was taken and we're looking for sell side, we're only interested in bearish fair value gaps, not bullish ones. So. And that's not all the time. We've seen where you can use a bullish fair value gap. It'll get respected and used in price action later. So, you know, I want to be careful that you don't take that statement and run too far with it. But just showing that the, the bearish fair value gaps were the ones that definitely um, provided some the, the ultimate profit in the end. So uh, and then look, we have these volume imbalances. Here's one right here. I'll make that one dark color. So there's a volume imbalance that could have got you in. Obviously, I don't need to draw this really. You can tell that every one of these would have given you five points. Um, so the price action was much much more challenging though as a whole, I, I think. I think AM session was definitely cleaner and clearer than the PM session. Um, and obviously hindsight makes everything easy. I, I understand that. But this is how you learn. This is how you train your eye and your brain to see these setups in real time. So either one of these, all three, would have provided you the five points. Now, if you would have been trying to go long anywhere in here, clearly you would have been stopped out. So that's a, you would have been on the wrong side of where liquidity had been taken. So um, if you need to, uh, be, be careful, make sure you're only taking trades even after liquidity has been taken and you see price reversing. 
uh, in some ways like the 2022 uh, YouTube mentorship, the fair value gap system where price takes liquidity and then it moves in the opposite direction. So traders, again, I hope that you took more from the market than it took from you. May the ticks be forever in your favor. Peace out.